you guys are staying. It's well, all reversed. It, but you guys, are the, the guys in the city, if you guys want to not obey, you know, the judge just gives you the, lead, you know, the leeway to do this. If somebody in the city says, don't, you know, don't execute it, then uh, it's not going to, you know, it doesn't have to happen. At this point, obviously, we're here doing this. I know. Well, I don't know. They said they just found out the governor's been in town all day. Oh, well, and been very quiet about it. Yeah, he's been right across the street in the Capitol all day. So, yeah. so whether I hear, yeah, I tried to find out if he was pushing Jerry again, but nobody would answer me. <laughs> But I, I do know that a number of people will be getting arrested if they re evict us. What was going on? We didn't know because they supposedly they met with the mayor yesterday. The, the, the lawyers was here helping to occupy Albany, and then they met. They tried to go and, and they never. The city never told them yesterday they were going to do this. Is that the police? Is that the police? We'll arrest. Everybody. We'll arrest. We'll arrest everybody. 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 They told them they weren't going to do this. They weren't going to use force. They told us they weren't. Right, and then they ended up doing it. So the mayor lied, outright lied. The people that represented him lied yesterday. Right. Assistant Chief Brendan Cox. We'll find the later. The military industrial complex. The military industrial complex. Will be defeated. They'll be defeated. I got pepper sprayed at least two times um, before I, it was hard to know what was going on. We were, we were just holding on to our info tent as a protest um, to, say, to show that we can be here, we have a right to be here. And um, and the police, I'm so sorry, the police came on horseback and they just came and just forcefully started grabbing at people, pushing people to the ground. And unfortunately, I was one of them. There was a commotion and I started to take some pictures and uh, then it just came my way. It happened um, and I suffered the consequences, but I'm still inspired by this great movement and um, I want to take more pictures now that I can see again. Tonight, the Friends Police State has taken on a very different aspect for me, quite frankly. I will say this, the people who did the attack tonight may not know it, but they are part of the 99%. And before this is over, they have to come to our side and stop being agents and servants of the 1% in our society. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. All right. Oh my God. All right, now stop oh, touching it with your okay, hands because okay. you've got stuff on your hands okay. now. Oh, you can't touch it anymore. God. Now we're going to do this side. Oh, Ready? My God. All right, now I'm going to hit you on this oh, side. God damn! All right, we need some more water. I'm here today is because in November 1938, my father was locked up after Kristallnacht and spent three months in Dachau before he bought his way or his family bought his way out. And I do not want to see that happen here. And Shana standing next to me today is an example of one of the worst things that can happen in this country, that people are, are injured for standing up and protesting correctly against the injustices in this society. To South Station! To South Station! To be in solidarity! To be in solidarity! With our people! With our people! Who were illegally arrested tonight! Who were illegally arrested tonight! Yeah! Yeah!